Hello folks, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to see how to write our first Kubernetes manifest file. Please watch this video till end to understand easy way to write manifest files. At any point of time during this video, if you feel you are learning something new in easy way, please don't forget to press the like button. That helps YouTube algorithm to reach more people and really motivates me to make more videos like this. With that context, let's jump into today's topics. In this video, we are going to discuss understanding components of manifest file, writing first manifest file, and creating a pod using manifest file. To understand manifest file better, we are going to create objects with help of manifest file. Now, what kind of objects we can create? That could be a pod, service, daemon set, deployment, replica set, replication controller, and few other we can create. To demonstrate this example, I am going to show you how to create a pod with help of manifest file. Before understanding how to write manifest file, we need to understand how we can create a pod with the help of a command. This is the command we are using to create a pod that is kubectl run pod name minus minus image image name minus minus port port number. Here run represents what kind of object we are creating. To create a pod with help of kubectl command, we need to specify run. In case it is a deployment, we can use the deployment or deploy. Like that, what kind of object we are creating based on that, it is going to change. Next thing, nginx pod is the pod name over here that we call it as a object name. Next thing, we need to tell that what are the components is required to create a pod. Of course, we need a container to create a pod, right? So, to create a container, we need an image that is what is the image we should use to create the nginx container. Here, this nginx image is pulled from the hub.docker.com. At last, we are specifying on which port number we are exposing our application or our pod. So, we are using port number 80 to expose our pod. So, these are the parameters we need to mention in this command. If we closely look into this command, we mentioned three parameters that is object type, nothing but we are telling that we need to create a pod. Then object name, so what is the pod name we want to give. Next, object components or status. Status nothing but what is the expected state of our object. If we know these three, we can able to create a pod with help of manifest file. But if we want to create a manifest file, we need to include one more thing. That is what is the version we need to use to create an object. So if we have this information, it is quite easy to create a pod. Now you may ask that where can I find this information? That is where we need to refer to our Kubernetes documentation. Let's jump into our documentation. If you search for Kubernetes API documentation, we got some references. Let's open this one. At the time of recording this video, we are using Kubernetes version 1.22. So we need to use this as a reference to create our manifest file. So let's open it. Here we have the list of the options where we can go with the documentation based on what kind of object we are creating. In our case, we are creating a pod. So go to pod v1 core. This one open up the detailed documentation which we need to use. You can see here we have different options that is group, version and kind. We are not discussing in this lecture. If you see the version, this is v1. This is the version we should use. Next thing, if you see the kind, it tells about what kind of resource we are creating. In this case, we are creating a pod, right? So that is the reason it is a pod. It can be a service, replica set, deployment or any other resource type based on what we wish to create. If you want to see the example manifest file with this information, they have given an example. If I open this, you can see here what are the parameters you need to use to create this manifest file. That is what they mentioned. Anyway, let's jump back to our PPT and understand more deeper how to write the manifest file. So first thing, object type that is pod. So to mention object type, we need to use kind. Then object name, to mention object name, we can use metadata. To specify object to status, we can use spec, nothing but specification. Next, we need to specify the version. For that, we are going to use API version as the key and v1 is the version. So these are the values or parameters which required to create our manifest file. Next, one important thing to remember is 
manifest files are created in yaml format nothing but key value pair format so with the help of this let's create our first manifest file in manifest file first you need to tell what is the version you are using to create the object in our case we are using api version v1 to create the object next what kind of object we are creating we are creating a kind of pod next what is the name of our pod that is where we need to mention in metadata so here we can specify that name nginx pod that is what we mentioned in our command as well next specifications means what is the status of this pod or what are the components we need to include in this pod as you know it requires a container so we need to specify it as a containers so to create a container we need an image and also we can give a name to our image here i am giving nginx demo app as a name of our image at last we need to expose our port for that we are going to use the ports and uh, we need to specify that on which port number our application or our pod is exposed that is where we are specifying it as a container port this is the simple manifest file to create a pod instead of copying this manifest file directly i will type out this so that you will understand better where we need to use spaces or caps or small all right let's jump into our kubernetes cluster to create this manifest file i have installed minikube on my workstation and it is up and running we are going to create a manifest file under the directory called cube shell at this moment we don't have any files over here so let me open a new file by using vi nginx minus pod dot yml as you know manifest file will starts with the what is the version we are using to create an object that is api version okay so what is the api version we are using that is v1 right and while writing your key and value pair please remember that in case your key have two values then first letter should be small second letter should be caps if i take api version as two words in api version a should be small and v should be caps okay that is how you need to write and in value pair right side first letter should starts with the caps okay v1 but in this case it is exceptional it should be small only so we are going to use v1 next thing we need to specify what kind of object we are creating that is kind and k should be small why because it is a key name then what is the object type we are creating we are creating pod but it is a value so that's the reason p should be upper case next thing once we have specified the pod we need to tell that metadata okay so metadata we can tell that what is the name of our pod metadata we need to consider it as a single word so there won't be any caps over here and in metadata i am going to mention that name colon nginx pod okay so i am giving name as a nginx pod and it should have proper indentation and we need to make it as a component of a metadata so that's the reason i have given two spaces over here once you have specified the name of the pod you need to tell that what are the components inside the pod that is where we need to mention specifications okay in the specification you need to tell that what is the container we are creating so we need to mention that container but in a pod we can create multiple containers right so we don't know whether we are creating one or multiple that is the reason we should specify containers not container and to create a container we need an image so we need to specify image from which image we are going to create a container here that is nginx and we can give the name to image or else we can ignore it but i am just giving the name over here that is nginx demo app once we have specified image we also need to tell that on which port number the application is going to run for that we need to use port but we can expose our application on multiple ports that's the reason we should specify the ports to specify the what port we are exposing our application we need to tell that on container which port we are exposing so container port okay on which port we are exposing that is 80 here container port is a key and it has two words that's the reason we need to mention container port p should be caps now i can say that i have written my first manifest file let's save this file let me open nginx pod.yaml let me clear the screen and now let's create the pod out of it to create a pod by using a file we are going to use a command called 
kubectl apply minus a file name. This is the command to create an object with the manifest file. Let's create it. Okay, there is a typo. I'm sorry, VA Nginx. So it should be it should be SPEC. Okay. Now let's execute it again. Okay, pod has been created and kubectl get pods. If I see, you can see here our pod is up and running. And if I want to know more details from which image it has been created and what is the port number it has been exposed, we can use kubectl describe and pod name. So nginx pod, sorry, kubectl describe pod nginx pod. If I scroll up, you can see here status it is running and what is the container ip this is the ip next container you can see here image and image id from where it pulled and on which port number it is running if you scroll down you can see here events so it is pulling the image and creating a container and starting it so this is how we can create our manifest file this might be a simple one but i hope i have given enough information to start write your own manifest file if you want me to create more videos on how to create service or deployment manifest files, please mention in the comment section below so that I can create further videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.